Yesterday I received an email inquiring on a certain cottage property another agent has listed. So checking with our internal MLS system, it said conditional sale. So I quickly emailed back this particular person, said it's a conditional sale. Having been in the real estate business forever, I just assumed they know what that meant. So today's video is gonna explain the process of making an offer and what happens on the MLS system. So essentially when an offer comes in, it's either a clean offer or a dirty offer. Clean offer would basically be, here's the money, I'll take the house or the land or the building. A dirty offer is far more typical where you have a number of conditions. On our purchase and sale agreement, there's a condition for a title search, which is a given with pretty well 100% of all offers. On the affix schedule A, it has a number of conditions or contingencies. Those contingencies are paragraph one going by memory is financing. Typically that would be seven to 10 days. Number two, home inspection, typically about the same time allotment. Number three would be for insurance, whether they can get it insured. Typically that's not a problem unless there's wood stoves or exposed styrofoam in the basement among other things. Number four is inspecting the oil tank to make sure they will still insure it. A lot of insurance companies will not insure metal tanks, either single or double well, and they're traversing over towards fiberglass. Number five is the condition to sell a house. If you have a property to sell before you buy this. Six is the water test, which is typically provided by the vendor for both bacteria and chemical. And seven is septic. So septic means typically the vendor would expose the lid and the purchaser would pay for the inspection and the pumping. So basically that's how the offers come to me. When an offer comes in and there are conditions or it's a dirty offer, it should be marked on our MLS as conditional sold. What that means is it's sold, but they're still in the process of getting their financing, getting their home inspection septic, or selling their house. So that's it in a nutshell. That's what conditional sold means. There's basically only four statuses we can have active, expired, sold, withdrawn, or canceled. The latter two, nobody has any idea what the difference between withdrawn and canceled is. I've asked the board, I've asked our administrator, and I just fired off an email this morning to Paragon, which is our MLS supplier. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside the subscribe button and have yourself a fantastic day.